Hey guys, how's it going, Ghost of Richard today? And as you can see, I've got a 1990 Dodge here that we're going to be doing a system on today. Um, we're going to be doing a four channel and one of these Rockford Fosgate mini subs which have the built in amplifier so that way you can just hide it here under the seat. We'll hide that one under the seat and uh, yeah, the speakers are already done out but it's pretty easy if you've got to switch your speakers up. You can see it's just a couple uh, screws right here put your speaker right here and you can run your speaker wire leads right down and over here to your four channel amp or you can grab them from behind the deck it's up to you um, and then from right here all you gotta do is pop out all your screws from all the way around the door panel and it comes right off and then you've got your speaker right here and again just see your speaker color your speaker wire colors that you use from inside the door you can either run a new one from right here you don't need to though with a lot of the stuff you're gonna be putting on trucks like this all you got to do is uh, use the existing wire just see which one uses a positive here and uses the negative here and then grab it behind the deck you'll see the uh, wiring harness back down over here so you can see this is already nicely crimped and soldered up so I'm going to take a look at this um, yeah let me see where we get started here and then I'll show you some more all right guys so I'm going to show you quickly what I meant here so as you can see with the stereo, all I'm using from the actual stereo harness is the remote wire, the illumination wire, our positive, or both positives, and then if you want to, you can hook up your negative. I'm not. The reason why is because if you look back here, I've got a bolt back here. This older Dodge has a braided um, negative, which is right here, and I'm just going to bolt that onto the back of the DAC, which will give it a nice solid ground anyway. If I find that it's too weak of a ground, all I'll do is I'll ground uh, out and probably solder to this clip the black wire. I might even just do that anyway. And then the front wires you've seen, or I'll show you on the other harness, I just stole from the back of the deck. But for the rears, I'm just going to be running fresh wires from here all the way to the stereo. Because that's the best way to go about it. Um, if you come here, I'll show you. See, just the fronts here. I got the front wires which are inside the door so rather than running it through the doors and all that other fun stuff we're just going to run it right from the back which is this is the vehicle side of the harness and then all the other speaker wires just bundle up and put them together you don't really need much from the deck other than that and then uh, from there get your RCA's ready and by that I mean just tape them up and uh, take all three of them lie them out uh, if you're hooking up a sub you'll have three pairs and you'll see what I mean when I show you so next thing was getting power into the cab. Cool thing with uh, some of the older Dodges and stuff is the easy to access wire grommet. Any vehicle should have one that you should be able to use. As you can see, just drill right through here. It's rubber, so just drilled it through. Put the power wire here. It runs to right here, which goes to right here, which this plate is bolted right onto the side of the cab. We have the fuse out, and the reason why is because we've already hooked up, or we're gonna hook up right here, the uh, battery. So that way we can hook that all up while safely having the fuse out and then put this all together. And this just goes inside the cab and then uh, after it gets inside I'll show you how it's routed afterwards once we're inside the cab. But yeah, see, as you can see, nice and easy to get it inside. Alright, so as you can see here, I have the deck harness. All I did is I plugged it in and then uh, we've got our RCAs hanging out here and of course our remote wires already soldered up and the speaker wires, so speaker wires. RCAs and we're also adding a base knob right here so the base knobs right just hanging out there so I'm just going to tie this down to here bring it down and then run it under the carpet all right so we have our deck here I put the cage in as you can see super easy right here cage is in all the wirings here that we need the ground which again if you've got a newer deck you would have hooked up the black wire you won't have this I have this one we have a Bluetooth microphone which is already set up right here all that's happened is undid the trim, dropped it down here, and then hit it along the bottom. Super simple, really. You could even just try and tuck it in if you wanted to, but peeling off the screws only takes two seconds. So, as you can see, we've got our Bluetooth mic port here. We got this, and we have all our RCAs right here. Um, that's going to get covered by a panel when I'm done. I've got uh, the RCAs running separate. As you can see, I have power along the carpet here. And then we have a big plastic piece which is going to sit all over top of the wiring. Um, I still have to clean this one up a little bit. As you can see, I've uh, just been 
still finishing this up after we do this. It's just sliding the deck in and then I'm going to test everything before I clean up the rest of the wiring. So I did a test, all works, time to clean it all up a little bit more. We'll throw this console back on, over top covers all this wiring. Uh, and then after that, bench seat will go back in, covers all the amps and stuff like that. Like I said, you're not going to see any wiring when we're done. But uh, final look before I do that, everything under the hood's done, done our pre-check, everything sounded good. Time to put stuff back together. Well, there we go. <laughs> We've got this all hooked up right here. Deck, as you can see, nice and clean. We got a little bit of cleaning up around here. Want to clean up his satellite or wiring, but that's cool. And then if we flip this forwards, like I said, what wiring? Nothing to be seen here. It still has the back tray, so he can go and do his stuff and keep this for storage. And it's all good. And nice amount of base from that little uh, punch. Again, if, when you have a uh, cab like this, you don't want much there. You don't want much wiring around because you, just in case it gets wet, but there you go. Final look. Hope you liked the video. Like the video if you did and subscribe for more.